Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have been given this rectangle that consists of three right triangles along with this green triangle such that the area of these right triangles are 28, 35 and 21 respectively. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label these side lengths of this uh, rectangle. Let me go ahead and label this side length as X and this side length as Y. Then this side length is going to be simply x minus y and now let's focus on this shaded triangle now let's recall the area of a triangle formula and here's our area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time base times height now in this shaded triangle our area is 28 and our this base is x minus y then our height has got to be 56 divided by x minus y. Now you might be wondering how did I get this 56 divided by x minus y. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Our area of this shaded triangle is 28 equals to a half and our base is x minus y and our height is 56 divided by x minus y and here x minus y and x minus y is gone and the right hand side 56 divided by 2 is 28 and the left hand side is 28 so this is indeed a true statement and now let's focus on this another shaded triangle our this uh, side length is x which is our base and we know the area is 35 so this side has got to be 70 divided by x and now let's focus on this triangle our area is 21 for this shaded triangle and this side length is y then this side length has got to be 42 divided by y and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, rectangle as you can see over here these two sides these opposite sides are equal in length therefore we are going to write down this plus uh, this equals to this let me go ahead and write down this one 70 divided by x plus 42 divided by y equal to 56 divided by x minus y and now we can see all these numerator numbers are divisible by 14 so therefore i am going to multiply these both sides by 1 over 14 and I am going to distribute that one and that is going to give us 5 divided by x plus 3 divided by y equals to 4 divided by x minus y. Now let's go ahead and add these two fractions on the left hand side by using the crisscross method. So that could be written as 3x plus 5y on the top divided by x times y and the right hand side is going to stay same 4 divided by x minus y and now let's go ahead and cross multiply so we can write this one as x minus y times 3x plus 5y equals to on the right hand side is going to be 4 times xy and now let's go ahead and do the double distribution or sometimes we call it rainbow method so that is going to give us 3x square plus 5xy minus 3xy minus 
फाइव वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फोर टाइम्स एक्स वाई नाउ इन दिस नेक्स्ट स्टेप फाइव एक्स वाई माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई इज गोइंग टू गिव आस टू एक्स वाई एंड द राइट हैंड साइड इज गोइंग स्टे फोर एक्स वाई नाउ लेट्स मूव दिस फोर एक्स वाई ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एज वेल and here i moved this one negative 4xy on the left hand side let's go ahead and combine these two like terms equal to 0 and now we can see that we got this uh, quadratic equation and we're going to solve it by grouping and factoring so therefore we are going to tweak this negative 2xy we can write this one as positive 3xy Minus five uh, x y, and here I have replaced this negative two x y by this uh, positive three x y minus five x y, and now we can see between first these two terms three x is in common, and between these last two terms uh, negative five y is in common. So let's go ahead and factor this one three uh, x outside. So it's going to be x plus y. and here negative 5 y factored out so that is going to give us x plus y equal to 0 and now we can see that x plus y and x plus y is in common so we can factor out x plus y and then times 3x minus 5y equal to Zero and now let's go ahead and separate them. I can put x plus y equal to zero and on this side equal to zero. So that is going to give us x equal to negative y. And now we can see that this is not conducible. So therefore we are going to reject this one. Now let's focus this part of the equation. So this could be written as three x equal to 5y and now divide both side by 5 so that means our y value turns out to be simply 3x divided by 5 and here's our next step uh, let's go ahead and replace this y equal to 3x divided by 5 value in this 56 divided by x minus y and now we are going to replace this y by this uh, 3x divided by 5 so this could be written as a uh, 56 divided by x minus uh, 3x divided by 5 and here i have copied down this whole denominator over here and if we simplify that is going to give us 2x divided by 5 so therefore we can write this thing as 56 divided by 2x divided by 5 and now this 2x divided by 5 we flipped it over and multiplied by 5 divided by 2x and that turns out to be 140 divided by x so therefore i'm going to replace this one by 140 divided by x and here's our next step let's recall the rectangle area formula and here's the area of a rectangle formula area equals to length times width and here in our case our length is x of this uh, rectangle and the width is 140 divided by x so let's go ahead and plug it in so area of this rectangle is going to be length is uh, x times 140 divided by x and then this x and x is gone so area of this rectangle turns out to be a 140 square units and here's our final step let me call this uh, area of this triangle as a1 area of this triangle a2 area of this triangle a3 and the area of this green triangle as a green then we can see that the area of this whole rectangle is going to be the sum of these uh, individual areas a1 a2 a3 and a green and now we know that the area of this rectangle is 140 a1 in our case is 28 a2 is 
a3 is 21 plus we are going to figure out area of this green triangle and if we add these numbers we are going to get 84 and now let's go ahead and subtract 84 from both sides this is gone so thus our the area of this green triangle turns out to be 56 square units so thus the area of this green triangle turns out to be a 56 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye